I'm Andrea Hutting and today I will show you how to navigate the virtual campus. Let's quickly log into the virtual campus and then we can take it from there. As you log into the virtual campus, you will see that it opens up your home page. Click on this button on the left to get to your course. Business management students, this is what your course name will look like. And human resource management students, this is what your course name will look like. You will only have one of these as you are only registered on one program. As I am a business management student, I'm going to proceed and click on my course. As this page opens up, I need you to quickly have a look at your lecturer details. There's two ways to contact your lecturers. First being contacting them by email. As you will see here, your contact details for the lecturer is available. Firstly, the email address and secondly, the college number on which you can call in and ask to be transferred to your lecturer. When scrolling a bit down in your What's New folder, your lecturer will upload news and information that they feel are important and for you to take note of. Additional resources might include something that you will need in order to successfully complete an assignment. Please go and have a look at that. When I click on your due date document, it will open up and you will see that there's a lot of information on the type of assignments that you will be doing and how they work. Please read through these and ensure that you know what you are going to do. When I skip right ahead to your actual due date schedule, you will see that there's a lot of assignments with a lot of due dates. For example, your Module 1 formative assignment is due on the 16th of October 2020. Please take note that the due date schedule is an indication of when you should be finished with an assignment and not an indication on when you should start with the assignment. If you have any questions regarding your due date schedule, please don't hesitate to contact your lecturer. If we go back, I'd quickly like to show you how you can hide and unhide this left panel that you can so easily use to navigate through the VC. So clicking on the cross, it will hide it and clicking on the lines, it will show it. Okay, this is just a panel to quickly navigate through the virtual campus easily to find whatever you are looking for. Okay, as soon as you click on something on the left, you just have to scroll past all of these until you see whatever you have clicked on and then all of the information will be over there. As I'm in module one, I'm quickly going to show you where to find your list of prescribed textbooks that you will need in order to complete your year. Over here, you can see the textbook document, click on that, and then this will open up. Okay, you have two types of textbooks. Firstly, your prescribed textbooks, which are the textbooks that you need in order to successfully complete your year. Okay, you have to buy them. Secondly, you have your recommended textbooks. These textbooks are only recommended because we do have some students that would like additional information on some of the topics. You are not supposed to buy this in order to complete your year successfully, but if you want to read up on something specific, you're more than welcome to buy them. Okay, so you are only supposed to buy the prescribed textbooks because that is what you will need to successfully complete your year. Over here, you will find our textbook suppliers, which you can have a look on and order them online. When we quickly look at the induction quiz, the induction quiz is so important because that is the first quiz that you will have to do before you can attempt any of your assignments. Okay, as you click on induction quiz on the left, scroll down, you will see the study for success guide over here. When you click on it, it will download, download at the bottom and you can then click on it to open it up. The study for success guide has all of the information that you will need to successfully complete the induction quiz. The induction quiz have a 50% pass mark. Okay, and only as soon as you've passed the induction quiz, then you can go on to your module one formative assignment. When we go back, I'll quickly like to show you what the induction quiz look like. So click on induction quiz, scroll down, and you will over here have a button that says attempt this quiz now. You will then click on it and it will automatically take you into the quiz. I've already done the quiz before I made the video in order to show you that because I have done the quiz and because I have passed the quiz, I can now go on to do my module one formative assignment. Okay, so I'm just going to click on continue the last attempt, but you are going to click on attempt this quiz now. As soon as I click on it, it will take me into the quiz. Scroll down a bit and question one starts. As soon as you are at the bottom of the page and you click next page, it will automatically save everything that you've done on the previous page and take you to the next page. 
Okay, in this instance, you can then actually go out of the virtual campus, log out and go on tomorrow again. Please ensure that you have clicked next page in order to ensure that your progress has been saved. Okay, and that's it. After you've done the induction quiz and you've passed the induction quiz, you will then be able to do your very first formative assignment. When we quickly go back to module one, you will see that as soon as you go to module one, right underneath your textbook document, you will have your module one study guide. So as you know by now, all of your study guides are available for download free from the virtual campus. But if you need them printed, you can either print them yourself or you can order them at an additional cost from the campus, okay, from the college. So, and then we will send it to you. As soon as you click on the study guide, it will once again download at the bottom. And as soon as you click on it, it will open up. A quick and easy way to navigate through the study guide, which I love, is if I'm quickly wanting to look at something like, let's say controlling, I can actually just click, click on controlling and it'll take me exactly to where it is within the study guide. How cool is that? So you don't have to scroll and look and scroll and look. You can literally just click on the subject that you want to look at and it'll take you automatically to that. Okay, and that's basically it from my side on navigating through the VC. If there's something else that you'd like to know, please get in contact with your lecturer or phone the college and we can assist you.